Now your two works for you weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. Glad to see they weren't having to fight off that rain, trying to get that cat down in that picture, but we're still fighting that rain across the metro area. Lines of showers and thunderstorms rolled through, tracking two main bands. One is up uh, just off to our west right now, and it is signaling a lot of a flash flood warnings going on, indicated by that green box that you're seeing right there. It's just stalling out as it is uh, dumping a lot of rainfall over into Blackwell. It was in Ponca City. Second band is just here in the metro area, now extending past uh, Sand Springs, now towards Hominy, Cleveland, now just getting the tail end of Skyatook. And that's providing some thunderstorms. You can see those lightning strikes on our dual Doppler radar at this hour. Again, continuing to lift off to the north, so we're getting a little bit of a break here for Tulsa. So as you're headed home, do you still allow a little extra time if you're in or headed towards that rain band? Make sure that you allow even uh, extra time for that because the visibility is going to drop off quite a bit because those rain rates still remain high. Live look right now. Use our Cityplex camera. We have seen a lot of rainfall over the last couple days. Our ground is saturated and we have a more tropical like air mess. So that's allowing for those heavier rain rates to develop. It's 76 here for Tulsa. Winds are out of the north, but I do expect those to shift out of the south still remaining calm. 77 is what it's feeling like dew points in those muggy ranges right now with 73. So it's not feeling that pleasant out there. You can see where that line of showers and thunderstorms really started to fire up because you're seeing warmer temperatures further south because we were dealing with that rain cooled air here for Tulsa extending up to Bartlesville. So a noticeable difference if you're headed down to Stigler right now at 85, 84 over in Rogers. In fact, Bartlesville, you were right around 80, but now that that system is approaching, we're seeing 73. This evening, temperatures holding steady in those 70s, similar to what we had last night. We'll keep those chances for showers and thunderstorms around even into the evening hours. With the flash flood watch in effect, now that's been extended through tomorrow morning. Of course, meteorologist Clint Boone will be back tomorrow morning to get you safely out the door and let you know what areas you might want to avoid. Rainfall totals in the last 48 hours, even extending the 72 hours, has been very impressive. I know you're seeing a lot of colors on here, and I'm going to break all these numbers down for you on what we're seeing and why it's been so important that we've been stressing uh, the turnaround don't drown into those heavier, higher rainfall areas. Right now, see just north of Sepulpa, over six inches of rainfall in that short amount of time. Here in the metro area, we're coming in about four and a half, some areas closer to five. Further south you are, you're seeing a two and a but closer to three inches. I know portions of Beggs was seeing a lot more early uh, Saturday morning, and we were keeping a close watch on that even Sunday morning. The further out, as you're seeing just off to the east, some areas, especially by Lake Fort Gibson, not quite as much as the rest of us, but still a nice soaking in only 48 hours. Here for Tulsa, before the weekend, we only saw an inch of rainfall over the weekend. We saw well over four and a half inches, and that put us above our average for the month of June. So when you know as we're closing out this month, we actually got above it. Rain chances the next four days. I don't know what's going on with Friday. Maybe it's excited because we do have a passing cold front that will be sliding in. And after that's going to knock off those rain chances quite a bit. And in terms of how much more rainfall we're looking, I think you're going to be pleased with this. Yes, we're still dealing with additional rainfall on our saturated ground, but it's nothing of substantial concern like we had over the weekend with those rain rates being a very high. We're looking at maybe another inch to two inches tops here in the metro. It's really going to depend on where those thunderstorms line up as we get going. 85 by your Wednesday, 73 overnight. Temperatures all in all remaining fairly pleasant below that seasonal average, not typical of late this time of the year.